Hey there, guys. Floodmon14. I think we're back here with some more. Uh, yeah. Let's play Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories. Started on the password screen here. Looks like there's a couple thunders we can get since we have 62 star chips. So, yeah, if you put in the code 2181725 for 30 star chips, you can get Mega, mega Thunderball. So, let's get that. And for the next code, hopefully this works correctly. We'll do one five five one five five ten nine eighty eight ten nine was it nine eighty eight yeah nine eighty eight okay nine eight eight and for that oh for another thirty you can get a Kaminari Kozuo aka Thunder Kid so there we go there's two more thunders for us. And let's go to build the deck and save. All right, so that gives us now, how many dragons and thunders do we have? Now we have three dragons and we have, oh, maybe I should have taken another dragon actually. Three dragons and this will give us uh, four thunders. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, that'll work. Uh, Actually, let's look over here. Oh, there we go. There we go. So we'll have five dragons. And if I put in the new thunders, we'll have four thunders. Okay, that, that's what I was thinking of. Phew, thought I made a mistake there. <laughs> uh, okay, so I said we are getting the uh, cyber um, Saurus stuff out. So unfortunately, you know what? Let's get rid of the machine. Let's get... And as sad as I hate to do it, yes, let's get rid of both little Ds. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the jokes will no longer continue. Okay, and we do have one card left. Um, we've got quite a bit of aquas. Uh, let's just go by a text set here. Let's see what I can put in here. Um, I remember her kill doesn't work as far as fusions go. Uh, what all can I put in here? Maybe I could just put another flower. Honestly, this doesn't have bad... Uh, yeah, 1300 defense ain't too bad at all. Uh, so I guess we'll go with our mail, and yeah, then let's check the types, because I want to see what else we want to work on in this deck. So we got, yeah, we got we got two field cards, Umi and Mountain. You know what? We might be ready to go back to story mode here. Uh, we got like five plants, four rocks. Mm, okay. Yeah, we might be. Mm, then again, I kind of want to Estek Bakura uh, before we go back. I'd probably like some more beasts, too. We only have, like, one beast. Hmm. Okay, good to know. Good to know. But, uh, yeah, let's head back to, uh... Let's head back to Free Duel. Let me save the changes we made there. Okay. So, yeah, we'll head back to Free Duel. Okay, let me check the time and stuff. Okay. So, it looks like we can go to about 2.30. It's, like, 2.05 right now, so... Well, actually, let's say... Yeah, 235 should be good. It's actually 207, so... Alright, get the volume back up for you guys. Yeah, yeah, you know what? And there's gonna be a lot of dialogue when we go back to the story, too. Yeah, let's just... let's just kind of mess around and free duel some more. I don't know. Like I said, we're probably ready, but... Yeah, you know. I kind of want to just chill and do some, uh, do some free duels. And we'll do the same as we did last episode, you know? We won't show too many animations unless it's something new. Well, this might be something new. Let's try. Yeah, wing dragon number two and wolf. Will this work? Oh, it still didn't work. Wow. I'm actually quite shocked. Okay, wolf, it's up to you. I believe in you. Hmm, I'm surprised I didn't make uh, the fusion I'm thinking of. Huh. Oh well, um, let's go with uh, female and rock. We could have made Stone D as well, but it's okay. Mystical Sand is good. Oh, Guardian Star, sweet. Get him, Wolf. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure the problem isn't Wolf. I'm pretty sure the problem is... Hmm. I don't know, maybe... No, there's no way. That fusion has to be in this game. I mean, there's just... There's just no way it's not. Uh, let's, you know what? Let's use the aqua instead, because if nothing else, we can throw flower onto the wolf. So, uh, 
uh, Spike Seed Dragon. And here he is, guys. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. Alright. Oh, another. And this guy apparently loves uh, <laughs> Neptune. Whoops. Alright. Not a good idea when I've got a Pluto monster out here. Oh, yeah. We got this. We got this. We got Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. Well, if nothing else, this will work. Um, yeah, I we do only have one beast. I definitely would like, uh, you know, maybe not like two more, but at least one more. Ooh, Kakeningen. Ah, I recognize that from uh, Duelist of the Roses. Actually, has a pretty good effect in that game. It basically makes a copy of itself. Not a bad effect at all. All right, what do we get here? Let's see. Do, 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 do. And we get Fusionist. Hey, that's a beast, right? Isn't it? Is Fusionist a beast? I think it is. Hey, I was just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah I wouldn't mind another beast in this deck. It is a beast, yes. It is a monstrous cat with wings and a long, striking tail. 900 attack? Yeah, it's decent enough. Um, okay, let's go to our types over here. Okay, of course, we're keeping all the dragons. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll get rid of Secretarian of Secrets. Yeah, because these spellcasters are really only in here for the jars. How many jars do we have, actually? That's a good question. Go to my rock. So this counts as a jar. So, well, we do have three jars. Okay, okay. Well, I tell you what. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of... Mm, I could start getting rid of some of these aquas, too. But this is a female. These two are females, so we're keeping that. That's a turtle. Oh, wait. Both of these are turtles, which works good. I guess we're keeping the aquas. Um, maybe I'll finally get rid of Tainted Wisdom. Uh, but no, Well, Queen's double. Well, it is a female. It's kind of weak, though. Um, well, I tell you what. Let's get rid of... Yeah, three and three. I like that ratio though. Three jars, three spellcasters. But yeah, let's go with uh, the jars can also make mystical sand. So let's go with three jars, two dark spellcasters. Yeah, and this is a fire, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that ratio ultimately might be better. Yeah. Three jars, two dark spellcasters. That way we don't brick too hard on the dark spellcasters. <laughs> All right, back to the duels. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Um, Mount Mountain. We got a jar. Speaking of the jars. Uh, this school saying it's fine. Okay. And Mercury. And we're done. I, I forgot who we're even playing here, but we'll just do as normal. Masaki. Uh... I don't think we have any fusions here. All set mountain. Face down. Get a mystical sand. Psychic Kappa. <laughs> I wonder, like, uh, when the psychic type came out, did that monster become psychic type or no? Or did they, or was that one of the English translations? Like, you know what, let's just call this monster psychic, even though it's not, you know. <laughs> did, did they have to rename psychic Kappa? Was that a frog the jam situation? They have to name it like a uh, telekinetic kappa or something like that, so it's not part of the psychic archetype. Or can you actually use like emergency teleport to get psychic kappa of all monsters from your deck? Because <laughs> if so, that would be pretty funny. Uh, fusionist, okay. You know what? Let's try fusionist with this. Let's see. Let's try. See if this makes the fusion I'm thinking of. No. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll get it eventually. I'm sure some of you guys are like, man, what is that fusion? He, he keeps trying with the wing beast, with the wing dragon and a beast. Eventually, I will play it, and you guys will see. I just have to test it. I have to figure it out. Hmm. I think eventually we will get it. What do you got? You got nothing, G. Right, Jiki, huh? 
Well, I haven't shown this fusion off. Definitely not the most powerful. And I realize I could play Twin Headed Thunder Dragon here, but you know. Let's show off this fusion. Yeah, an Aqua and a Thunder makes Bolt Escargo. So let's show Bolt Escargo. I have not shown this fusion at all, so. Yeah. Show you guys a little more of what our deck can do. Alright, you're gonna use Thundershock, Bolt Escargo. Or no. Let's see. Oh yeah, Thundershock. Purple. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good in this game, not gonna lie. <laughs> Attaboy, but Bolt Escargo. Alright. New monster. <laughs> yeah. It's the rejected uh, uh, Slowboro design. <laughs> that thing does like on his back. It does kind of look like the uh, <laughs> the form shelter takes after it bites the slowpoke. This creature spits a gooey substance that robs enemies of mobility and then stuns them with electric shocks. Sounds like a pretty good combo, Boltis Cargo. All right, and I forgot. Did I use Pluto or its other side? Yeah, whatever. You win. <laughs> Let's hope we get something good here. What do we got? Gorgon Egg? Um, if I remember right, that's kind of a high defense monster. Um, let's just play someone different here, just for fun. Let's play Bandit Keith for no particular reason. We haven't played him yet, Friedel. Um, Gorgon Egg. Oh, it's a fiend. Hmm. A Gorgon's Egg with eyes said to create whatever creature crosses its view. There might be some, like, egg egg fusions in this game i know there are some particular egg fusions in uh, duels of the roses i'm not particularly familiar with them but uh hmm, what we got here uh we don't have much let's just do this mainly just to clear our hand here oh i could have made turtle bird what am i doing what am i doing okay jupiter whoops that's on me that's on me guys yeah, I could have, because I had a turtle and a bird there, right? Aw, oh, man. Okay, Keith, what do you got? That's a pretty decent monster. Axe Raider? Yeah. One of Joey's classics. Um, let's hope we choose the right guardian sign here. So we'll go with Rock, and let's choose Arlanway for Mystical Saint. Um, I'm going to pick Saturn. Oh, phew, I did choose the right star. All right, let's show this. Yeah, Axe Raider is a pretty epic looking monster. Yeah. Nice bandit key. Nice. Not bad. If you want to give me that card, I will gladly take that card. All right. Let's see Axe Raider in 3D. One of Joey's signature cards. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you won't see it attack, but you will see me defeat it. Go! Sandstone spit. Oh, oh and look at him slowly turn to stone there. Dude. Mystical Sand Girl, you are epic. That was awesome. And, like, you could see, like, chunks of his, like, gold-plated armor slowly turning to stone. That was epic. I'm, I'm glad I showed that battle. That was... That looked... Pretty, pretty baller, not gonna lie. All right, we'll end the turn. That looks pretty cool, man. <laughs> uh, this game's something else, man. This game's something else. Okay, so we got Wolf. Um, oh, I got my turtle back. Okay, let's try this. Turtle and bird. Mm, and then maybe, okay, this might not work, but I definitely wanna try this. Like a higher level bird. Okay. Yes, so we know that'll make Turtle Bird, and then... Oh! I'm sorry, Turtle Bird. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But I really, really want to try this fusion, man. Uh, let's go Mystical Sam. Beastro Butcher. Holy smokes. You know what? We're going to put Wolf in defense. That's a pretty solid monster. Man, I can't believe he didn't do it with Turtle Bird either. Wow. Kai Tai Gyoji. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so we got a fire. Well, we can 
can do this for... No, 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 no. This is more powerful. Yeah. Queen of Autumn Leaves. Moon. Uh... Yeah, let's just do this. Yeah, sorry about that, Turtle Bird. Sorry. Man, yeah, not even that works. Hmm. Maybe I need, uh... Hmm. Okay. That's got me thinking now. That's got me thinking. Maybe the fusion works a lot differently in this game. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. Here we go. This fusion will work for sure. Okay, so we do Mabilis. Yeah, and let's throw in another fire. Yeah! Crimson Sunbird is here. Alright. What's that, Queen? Shadow Ghoul? Pretty decent monster. He's a pretty decent monster. Mystical Sand, get him. Okay, and we're about 350 short? 450 short, I'm sorry. Not this hard. Not this hard. But we got this. We got this, Keith. Yeah, Keith plays a lot stronger monsters than we're used to. And let's show this off. Vishwara Randy plus Fusionist. Should make Necro Gal. Yeah. Good to know Fusionist still works. Good to know. Uh, let's just use our strongest here. More Rin Finn. Alright, Mystical Sand, finish him off. Alright, Keith might actually give us a pretty decent monster here. He's got a lot of strong cards. So, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what you got, Keith. Um, Mystical... Wait! Isn't that a power-up card? Hmm, let's take a look at our deck here. Interesting. Thanks, Keith. Banded Keith. In America! This is a power-up card. Moonlight increases the power of beasts. Well, I tell you what, guys. Let's uh, yeah, let's take a look at our deck here. Um, we're gonna try this power-up. Honestly, uh, maybe I should take out our mail for this. Hey, you know what? Queen's double is pretty low on the points. Let's take out Queen's double. I know. Um. I know our other power-up didn't really work with much. Uh, what was it? Because we had, like, what, Vile Germs or something down here? I think it was that. Yeah, yeah, I know Vile Germs didn't work with much. Let's try Mystical Moon. Let's, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's try using that to power up some stuff. And that was actually a pretty good drop there, Keith. So, yeah, Magic and Trap cards are pretty rare as far as getting drops in this game, so... We'll definitely take that. Um, I wonder if this will work on... Or what all this will work on. Uh, Villager 2, let's duel, yeah. yeah let's try Miss... Um, let's try Mystical Moon. Yeah, man, I'm really glad we didn't go back to the story uh, yet. Because, uh, yeah, getting a power-up card is honestly pretty good. I don't know what all it'll work on, but, well, we got it, so... I tell you what, I tell you what, boys and girls. I mean, I mean, logically, you wouldn't think this would work, but let's let's try it. You'd be surprised what works in this game. Okay, Squid Headed Thunder. Okay, okay, doesn't work with Mystical Moon. So, okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. That's our main, you know, our main monster. So, okay, but we'll try Mystical Moon with some other stuff for sure. Uh, I guess I should have kept the moon because we got Fluffy here. And we're getting a stack to draw on this one, though. Fluffy! Okay, Fluffy, go. I'm pretty sure it would work with Fluffy. I'm like 99% sure. Hmm. Okay. And like, Vile Germs works on Flame Server Verse 2, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, so, oh wow, look at this hand, look at this. We're just stacked with dragons. Nice. <laughs> well, that's the ideal hand when we go back to the story, the hand we have now. <laughs> yeah, that's the ideal hand, boys and girls. All right, wow. Yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe if I get more beasts, maybe we will lean more toward uh, Fluffy Flame Cerebrus, because uh, we do have two cards that work on them now. Um, let's just go with Mystical Sand here, and we'll wrap this duel up, so, yeah. I don't know, though. I don't know. We haven't gotten too lucky with the beasts, though, with, uh, 
but uh, maybe we will. Maybe we will. We'll get some more. Yeah, because if we equip Flame Servers with two power ups, that's 3,100. That's pretty good, honestly, for the uh, for the point we're at now. What do we get here? Mech Mole Zombie, huh? Yeah, I wonder why we only got a B pal for that. I don't know, but uh, all right, Villager Two, round two. Let's see, we're at like 234 right now. I think we can keep going a little bit. We can do like about mm, 10 more minutes worth of duels. I'll try Mystical Moon on some other stuff if we draw it. Um, what do we got here? We can do the turtle. Uh, the turtle has decent defense. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, giant turtle feeds on flames. Uh, Neptune? I forgot what attack animation I did with it last time, but... <laughs> Excuse me, we'll give Neptune a try. Okay, moon. Ooh. Not too good of a hand here, honestly. Let's set Raigeki for no particular reason. Alright, Giant Turtle, I'm counting on you. Attack. Dark Ruler, huh? Alright, and we'll see Giant Turtle's other attack. Yeah. Roar, Giant Turtle, yeah. Get him. And look, it's the baby twin headed Thunder Dragon. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. rapid spin attack. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. He used withdrawal first, too. Nice job, Giant Turtle. Yeah, you the man. You the man. That actually looked really cool. Pretty good animation for this game, not gonna lie. Alrighty, I end my turn, Builders 2. Alright. This duel's going okay. Let's see, and we drew a spellcaster. Ooh, we have a jar. Nice. That turned on our hand. Ushi Oni. Alright, we're definitely in good shape now, so we just keep attacking. There's a turtle. There's a turtle. Alright. And I end my turn. Wait, this will make Turtle Bird, no? Yeah, I have a turtle on the field. Well, actually, let's just go with uh, Queen of Leaves instead. Yeah. Which are pretty good right there. Okay. Turtle attack. Nice. Tarma Cannon. Wow, I'm surprised that card's in this game. That was a McDonald's promo card uh, way back in the day, so... If you got one of those, it's actually worth like a lot of money, I think. Because it's like, a, that's like Dharma Cannon's only printing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in the McDonald's pack, so it's crazy, it's crazy. Alright, and we'll go with Turtle Bird to wrap things up here. Yeah! Turtle first plus bird equals Turtle Bird. Let's show the Mars attack. I'm not sure which of Turtle Bird's attacks we've shown, but uh, I'll show Turtle Bird a couple, couple more times. Just because it's, it's so funny. It's such an epic looking monster, too. I like Turtle Bird. Very glad we can make it in this game. So. Yeah, use withdraw and spin me right round. Nice job, Turtle Bird. <laughs> Show the fans what you've got, Turtle Bird, with your epic wings. Ooh, Twister attack. I don't think we've seen this before. That looks pretty good. Down goes the cockroach knight. Attaboy, Turtle Bird. Attaboy. Show them what you got. Yeah. <laughs> I love Turtle Bird. One of my favorite flood cards. Uh, nice. So Mars has the tornado attack. Nice. Or the gust attack. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alrighty. What do we get here? Toke Master. Wow. It's actually a very good card in Duels of the Roses. Uh, mainly because of its effects. Uh, here? Eh, not so much, you know. 
Uh, I will show you guys though. Toad Master, yep. Thousands of years old, this frog wizard attacks enemies with an army of tadpoles. Now, I don't think our aquas are too bad, from what I remember. Because we've got the two ladies, right? The two lady aquas? Yeah, and then the two turtle ones. So, honestly, that's a pretty solid water lineup. So, yeah. And uh, Toadmaster will, will not work with the turtle fusions. So, we'll pass on Toadmaster. I loved using you in Duels of the Roses, though, for sure, buddy. For sure. Alright, what do we got here? Well, we got the turtle bird again. Yep, well, tell you what, guys. Let's just... Let's just show it off again. Let's just show it off again. And this time we'll choose Saturn? Because yeah, I chose Mars last time, right? Okay, and this should be the last duel of the episode. And I'll probably do one more after this for this recording session. Uh, let's go with this bee dragon. And I think in the uh, next episode, we're just going to do a little more grinding. Yeah, just a little more. Because uh, I really would like to, before we, we return to the story, I definitely want to test uh, Mystical Moon on basically like you know i want to test it on like mystical sand i want to test it on this on turtle bird i want to test mystical moon on like black dragon jungle king um uh fluffy uh flames cerebrus um basically like all of our even kai Ryushin, i want to test it on that like because i just want to see you know if that'll work for our equip card or you know, and if, like, for example, let's say it does work on Flame Cere Cerebrus, then I know, like, hey, we need to get, like, and I need to test, like, on Neckle Gal number two, you know, but, like, let's say it does work on, like, Flame Cerebrus, then that, that means, like, okay, we've got Vile Germs and that, which works on Flame Cerebrus, which is good, but that just means, like, hey, I just need to get more, because we don't have many beasts, but it's just like, well, we got plenty of pyros, but it's just like, yeah, that gives me, like, an idea, like, okay, this is what we need to work toward, you know, as far as, you know, yeah. Uh, let's go with Mercury, and we'll just attack. Okay, Mystical Sand, you're up. Metabat, yeah, you didn't glitch this time, ah. Huh? <laughs> like last episode, it glitched into, uh, what was it, Doron or something? Yeah, that was pretty weird, that was pretty weird. I checked that out during the editing, I was like, holy crap, what in the world? <laughs> uh, but at least we did get two more Thunders this episode, so that is good. Alright, we'll do Ushioni. Yeah, and I, I need to test it on Ushioni too, because that's, like, two power-ups on 3100? Not bad. Although, I don't think Vile Germs works on Ushioni. But I need to test uh, Mystical Moon on it. So, you know. Yeah. And the best, best place to test is here in Free Duel. You know, because there's no pressure. There's no, like, you know, there's no game over if you lose. So, Ryu Kishin. That is an interesting card. Uh, we got time for one more. Yeah, let's duel Rex one more time. We'll call it good. So this is Ryukishin, a very elusive creature that looks like a harmless statue until it attacks. <laughs> yeah, speaking of statue, this thing was actually named like Gargoyle in um yeah in the Japanese version. And Ryukishin Power was just named Gargoyle Power. Yeah. Alright guys, so this should be the last one of this episode. We have Twin Headed Thunder online. But you know what? Let's just go with Fluffy here. Let's go with Fluffy. Yeah, Fluffy! Alright. Your turn, Rex. Alright. Do, do, do. Okay, and we'll go with... Wow, nice draw. Uh, let's do this. So, Stone Dragon, and huzzah, THTD, baby, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Ooh, Fluffy, get that Mecha Leon. <laughs> Alright. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Man, this game's so fun. It's so fun. 
like I'm pretty sure I said this in the last episode too that I'm like really ahead in this game just because like I'm having a lot of fun with it and it's just really like I love Forbidden Memories it's just it's just a great game uh, just to pick up and play anytime I'm definitely glad I started like let's playing it like oh man you know it, it was such a hard decision since I had so many good cards on the other save file but man this let's play has been a ton of fun and I hope you guys are liking it too so I mean even just sitting here grinding it's, it's just fun man it's just fun graveyard in the hand of invitation okay yeah, we've moved away from the zombies, but you know what? If we want to go back, we've got more. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, yeah, let me just save here real quick. And uh, we'll do the outro. You know what? I kind of want to hear the library thing, so let's go here and do the outro. Library. Alright, guys. Yeah, but... Uh, yep. Yeah, thanks for joining me. And, um, yeah, this has been a fun episode of, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Forbidden Memories. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me, guys. And, uh, yeah. I plan to do another episode of this, so, yeah. Oh, man, such a good music. But, yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Oh, yeah, show that pose, Flame Swordsman. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Have a good day.